doing? I'm back here with another video. Before I get started, I just want to say I hope everyone has a great Easter. Uh, let me know down in the comments uh, if you celebrate Easter and what are you doing. Um, this is kind of a, a weird video for me to post today because um, what I'm going to be showing off in this video is actually Christmas related, uh, not Easter, but I got this in the mail a while back. It's been something that I've wanted for a very long time and I wanted to do a video showing it off. This is the vinyl soundtrack to one of, if not my favorite movies of all time. If you guys have been following me, uh, for those of you who, who have been following me on my channel for a while, you guys know what movie I'm talking about. Um, but I've been wanting this for a long time and I finally found it for a good price. Um, and I ordered it and I'm just very, very happy that I now own this. This is the vinyl soundtrack to, like I said, one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into it. And that is the Home Alone soundtrack. Um, as you guys know who have been following me, Home Alone is one of, if not my favorite movies of all time. And the soundtrack is one of my favorite movie soundtracks of all time. And I've been wanting to own it on vinyl. And I've been wanting to get the Mondo soundtrack for a very long time. And I'm just very, very happy to finally own it. And today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of it. I know that there's a lot of other videos of people showing this off because this has been out for a few years. But for those of you who haven't seen it, I wanted to do a video showing it off because this is just everything. About, I love everything about this vinyl. The presentation, the, the record, just, you know, the, uh, the whole design of this vinyl is, is amazing. You know, the cover, just everything. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So first right here, I'll show off the front, and I just absolutely love the design of the front. I um, mean, you know, you got the, the front of Kevin's house right here. Right at the top, it says Home Alone, original motion picture soundtrack composed and conducted by John Williams right there. And then, you know, I'll just give you guys a close-up, and I'll just go down. There's the, uh, you know, the Santa Claus Reef right there. And then there's the uh, the little boy statue that, always, that keeps getting knocked over throughout the whole movie. And then here's the actual um, Obi right here. It says Mondo. We got a little bit damaged. It is a little bit damaged right here. Um, but, you know, it's nothing too bad. And it says Home Alone, music composed and conducted by John Williams. And this is a 2LP set on 180 gram vinyl. And um, the two vinyls are in green and red, which is very, very nice, very nice Christmas colors. Um, and they look very, very cool. And I will be showing them. And then right there it says Mon 70. So there's that. And let me go ahead and take this off. And I'll show you guys the back. There's uh, another image of the statue. Once again, love that. It says Mondo right there. There's that. And then there's just the spine of the Obi. Very, very cool. And then here's the cover. And as you can see through the windows, it has the uh, the different kind of mannequins and stuff that Kevin, um, you know, is pulling on strings and um, is going around like when the, the wet bandits are outside of the house and he's trying to make it look like there's people inside the house. And one thing you can kind of notice, the actual windows are cut out. And that's because the first vinyl sleeve you can take out. Oh, and the artwork on these are so, so nice. But you can take it out, and then that's what it looks like without the, uh, the first, um, first vinyl. So I'm going to go ahead and move this to the side. And here is what the first vinyl sleeve looks like. Absolutely love this design. You know, you got the, uh, like I said, the, um, you know, the one mannequin on the, on the, the train right here. And you got the one that rotates around right here. Give you guys a close up. I just love how they did that. Of how you can just take, of how you take it out from the front of the house, and then, um, yeah, it's just. Let me show you guys. There's the upstairs, and then, and then one thing that's cool is on the back, as you can see, it's sort of a dark color. That because you can slide this back in, and you can make it look like the uh, the lights are out in the house that is just so cool anyway guys let me go ahead and take out the first record and like I said these are both colored vinyl and this one 
right here if I can get it out. So hold on one sec. Here you go. There's the really, really nice green, which looks very, very cool. Let me just take this out real fast. There you go. And then there's the uh, label right there. Very, very nice. I love the green. You know, it's nice and translucent and, you know, see-through and everything. Just looks so nice. Put that to the side. Now I'm going to go ahead and open it up and show you guys the inside. And just look at that. Just such an amazing, the inside of it, um, of the house and the gatefold. And I'll take you guys through it. Like, there, there are so many different things. Like, there's the... Uh, you know, the, the heating thing right there on the door. And there's all the little micro machines and everything. Go through, there's the uh, Christmas tree. And you got all the Christmas ornaments right there for when Marv comes in through the house. I mean, you know, comes in through the window and steps on all of them. And then there's some more of them right there on the, uh, at the stairs. And then there's the, uh, the fan with the feathers. Very, very cool. I, I just love that they have all the different traps and everything. There's the paint cans right there. And there's a little tarantula and, you know, the box. And then here's the, uh, the attic. There's the... Right here is where Kevin's got the, um, you know, the bike... Um, the bike handle when he goes out there to his uh, to the tree house and there's the bed I just absolutely love this design of it I just think it looks so amazing and then I'm going to go ahead and take out the second vinyl now if I can get it out well first I'll show this off this is just a little sheet that it comes with very cool nice little write up on information about the soundtrack and everything I know you guys can't really see that but there's that. And then there's the uh, the statue laying right there. Very, very cool. And then let me take out the second vinyl if I can pull it out. I won't be able to do this with one hand. Just hold on one sec. All right. And then here is the other vinyl. And then this one is very cool because it actually has Kevin standing right there and he's moving the, um, the strings to this couple sitting right here on, on the table of the you know once again the two mannequins trying to fold the uh the wet bandits very very cool and then here's the back and then once again it's kind of made to look like um you know all the lights are turned off so you could put you could put this at uh, the um you know, if you wanted to you could put this on the front of the vinyl to make as well um and make it look like the uh the lights in the house are off and then let me go ahead and uh take out this one and this one's very very nice because this one is a nice red red vinyl very very nice once again there you go all right and the last thing I'll show off here is the back just has all the tracks list listings which you know of course it has somewhere in my memory Star of Bethlehem, White Christmas by The Drifters, which is one of my favorite versions of that song. Probably my favorite version. Carol of the Bells, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. And then, you know, it says, Home Alone, you know, original soundtrack composed by John Williams. And then here's, like, the back. And then right here is very cool. There's the, um, the hose that's going down to the, uh, the stairs, you know, when the when the when Kevin you know um, puts the water down the stairs and they freeze and Marv goes down there and he falls and then right here you can kind of see the uh, little torch right there on the back door and you can see a little BB gun um, right there kind of sticking out with smoke I just love that you know there's so many different great and then you got a little Nero's pizza right here in the trash can I just love the small details in this design it's just so so nice all right and then like i said once again you know since the uh the windows are cut out you can just take one of the uh you know take one of the vinyl sleeves and you can switch it around to make it look like the uh the lights in the house are turned off i just absolutely love just that 
I just love this entire design. I just think that this is such an amazingly done vinyl. They just did an amazing job with it. Uh, this is my first Mondo vinyl, and um, this was the main one I wanted, you know, because I love Home Alone, like I said. It's probably my favorite movie, and it's one of my favorite movie soundtracks as well. So, thank you guys for watching. I know it was kind of weird for me to do a Christmas-related uh, video on Easter, but um, I really wanted to show off this vinyl because I absolutely love it. I love every detail about it. I love the little Easter eggs in the in the um, artwork. I love the the red and the green um, vinyl. Um, you know, they both look really great. There is another variant of this vinyl. It's on a snowy white vinyl, I believe, but it is really um, expensive. I'm assuming it's the more limited version of it, I guess, because for some reason, I've only seen one of them, and it's going for over $100 for some reason. I don't know why, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think about uh, this vinyl. Do you own it? Um, I know it's been out for a few years, so I'm sure a lot of you already have it, but let me know what you guys think about this vinyl. I just love the entire design of it and everything, and I wanted to do a video showing it off. So thanks for watching, and I hope everyone has a great Easter.